What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. My name is Quaffles and today we are going to be playing some more of the survival games and I have a story for you guys today. A real life story so we're getting back into that groove. Uh, I have a whole bunch of topics listed down and I just really want to get through them all and uh, make you guys um, wait. I want you guys to watch these videos or no wait. <laughs> I want to upload more videos because I'm finally back to YouTube and I'm barely uploading. And I hear dogs. Frankly, my hmm. dear, I don't okay, um, <laughs> so this is a great freaking intro. Um, so the last video I posted obviously was the face reveal. Um, and I didn't even mention it, I wasn't going to say anything and I just posted it. There was nothing um, that was like any hint that I was going to have a face reveal. But um, today I have a topic for you guys. Um, so it actually is kind of like two stories in one, um, so I'm just going to start it off um, by saying that uh, I'm back in the dating game. I have been on a few dates uh, with a couple of different girls recently, um, one a couple months ago, one like a little bit over a month ago, and then today, uh, I, or, well I guess it was on Thursday, today's Saturday, I went on my most recent date and that was definitely the best of the three because um, uh, the second girl, I want to save the first girl for her own story, like, oh my god, that was uh, pretty weird, but um, the second date was kind of like a little bit weird, it was kind of awkward, the girl was really, like, so shy, like, it was so um, weird, like, she didn't, she barely spoke a word, like, no matter how much I tried to get her to, like, have a conversation, it was quiet, like, yeah, oh, cool, like, stuff like that, it was kind of like she didn't really... No, so I talked to one of her friends about it and she said she's a little shy around boys so uh, I figured you know what not every day it's gonna go perfectly so I never ended up asking her out again but um, I definitely had the most fun on um, this most recent date uh, with a girl that I actually ended up really liking she's super cool um, I don't really want to give too much away like we went out to uh, we went out to the beach um, I don't want to like say uh, any places any names of places because I don't want you guys knowing where she or I live um, she does live a state away, so I had to drive quite a bit to get to her, but we ended up going to the beach, and we hung out there for a while. We didn't go swimming, we just kind of went to walk around and have a nice time. We sat in the sand and talked for a while, um, and then drove around and got something to eat. Uh, so we had pizza, yeah, it was great first date food. No, but it was actually fun. It was really, like, laid back and, you know, just, like, both of us just kind of chilling. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what we did, and then, uh, we hung out for a little while after eating, and I dropped her off at home, and, yeah, her dad was, I didn't really talk to her dad, but, uh, he was kind of, like, at the door when I dropped her off, so it was a little, it was a little weird, but, um, it was all good. Um, just a guy who cares about his daughter, but, uh, going off of that story, um, when I was on my way home, I was on the highway, and my car, as you saw, has the T-top roof. And uh, it was like about 11 o'clock at night uh, when I was going home. And so I'm driving on the highway and it's a bit chilly so I get out of my car, I pull over on the highway, turn on my hazards, and um, and I go to like open my trunk and put the T-top on and I have my wallet on my lap so when I got up, uh, my wallet like actually flew off into the highway and I had, I had no idea that it like had even like left my back pocket. Like I, I got gas, I thought I put it in my pocket but I must have left it on my lap. And so uh, I put the T-top back on, got in my car, and drove away. I left my wallet on the highway. Like, how freaking insane. And um, so I, I went days without it. I was looking everywhere. I thought I couldn't have left it anywhere besides my bedroom, my house, my car. And I literally looked for it for like two days. And I was so certain that I didn't leave it down there. The thought didn't even cross my mind. And, um... So I wake up this morning and my mom comes in my room and she tells me some truck driver just came by and dropped off my wallet and I was like, what? I was like, what are you talking about? And uh, it turns out that he found my wallet on the highway um, heading north, which is the way I was driving. So it was definitely when I got out and put the T-top back on my car. And uh, the funniest part about him returning the wallet is, is that it was completely empty besides my license and so that means someone stole my credit card they stole the money that was in the wallet um, they stole my uh, like my rewards card for where I work Papa Gino's um, they stole my cards like my hairdresser my mechanic 
uh, the dealership that I bought the car from, they stole everything in the wallet, and all they left was a, a movie ticket from uh, my last date with my last real date with my ex girlfriend, which I thought was funny. So I pulled that out of my wallet and ripped that shit up. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's kind of saddening that someone would go and steal like everything from the wallet, and I'm just really grateful for the truck driver who like took his time uh, to come all the way from. Sorry, I'm gonna bleep that out. Uh, he came all the way from a town where he was dropping off a shipment, and uh, he he drove to my house. He dropped my wallet off, and I thought that was really nice of the guy um, to do that. And so I'm really glad that I have my wallet back. Um, as for the credit card, the debit card, um, I went online and I froze it. So whatever they wanted to do with it, they're gonna go to a store, try to spend the money, and there's no the, the card's frozen. It's gonna decline as soon as they try to do anything. Um, so that's gonna be funny when they do that, um, I'm waiting for that, they can have fun with the dollar that was left over in my wallet, I spent it all on the date and on gas, cause, ga like, it stayed away, like, that's a lot of freaking gas, I probably spent about, like, $20 just to get there and back, and, um, so yeah, they can have fun with my $1 in the frozen credit card, and then my Papa Gino's gift card. I'm gonna go online right now and I'm gonna look up if they've used it or done anything, like, why would you steal that? Like so stupid and all the cards they probably honestly just took those and ripped them up um, but yeah that's pretty much it those are my two stories for the day as I said I'll go into the uh, first date that I went on with uh, that first girl that I mentioned um, I don't want to give anything away because it's its own story completely and uh, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this story time I definitely did so I hope you guys have a great day and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy your surfing on YouTube. So I will catch you in the next video. So take care and bye-bye.